API system. API strip represents a set of different biochemical tests such as enzyme and fermentation tests. There are 20 separate microtubes on the API strip. Each tube contains dehydrated substrates for the biochemical test. The results are based on colour changes observed within each tube after the incubation time. Each microtube consists of a tube and gilpule. The enterobacteriaceae are all gram-negative as well as oxidase-negative, therefore the above two tests should always be performed prior to the API20E identification. Other characteristics common to enterobacteriaceae is the fact that they grow on bile-containing media such as McConkey. Depending on the ability to ferment lactose, enterobacteriaceae may be divided into two groups. Lactose fermenters that appear pink on McConkey medium, and lactose non fermenters that appear colourless on McConkey medium. Preparation of bacterial suspension. Approximately three to four colonies of the unknown bacteria are taken from the agar culture. The colonies are transferred into 5 ml of saline solution. A cloudy suspension should be obtained. Setting up an API strip. The bottom of the tray of the API strip holder is filled with sterile water in order to prevent dehydration of the strip during the incubation time. Pasture pipette is used to inoculate the strip with bacterial suspension. Each of the tubes on the APR strip is filled with the bacterial suspension from left to right. Some of the tubes need to be filled with the bacterial suspension right to the very top end, including capsule area. These tubes are marked in the box underneath the name CIT VP GEL. Some of the tubes are required to have oil added to the very top of the capsule. Usually sour liquid paraffin or mineral oil is used. The oil not only excludes the air and introduces anaerobic conditions but also stops N-gaseous products of certain reactions to be released. 
These gaseous substances would react with other substances from adjacent tubes and consequently they would affect the final results. These tubes are marked with the line underneath the name ADH, LDC, ODC, H2S and URE. The strip is then incubated at 37 degrees for 18 to 24 hours aerobically. After the incubation time, most of the tests are ready to be read. However, there are a few tests which require additional reagents to be added to the capsules in order for the test to be developed and interpreted. Adding the reagents. The TDA reagent is added to the TDA capsule. The Verg Praskauer test requires two reagents, VP1 and VP2. Firstly, VP1 is added to the VP capsule. Secondly, the VP2 reagent is added to the VP capsule. It allows detecting bacteria that utilise glucose through the natural pathway. Acetoin is detected via colour change reaction with VP1 and VP2. The James reagent is added to the indole test capsule. Indole as an end product may be detected by the reaction with James reagent. Pink colour change indicates a positive reaction. Approximately 10 minutes is allowed for the reaction to develop and the API strip is ready to be read. Reading an API 20E strip. The strip results are read by referring to the reading table provided by the manufacturer. The results, in the form of positive and negative, for each separate reaction are recorded on the result sheet provided by the manufacturer. There is a place for the oxidase test to be recorded. On the result sheet, the tests are grouped into sets of three. Each of those tests has an assigned value. One, two, or four. The values one, two, or four correspond only to positive reactions, while negative reactions score zero. All the numbers for the positive reaction are scored for each triad of tests and the seven digit profile number should be obtained. Two two one six zero four two. The final seven-digit profile number may be used to identify the unknown microorganism. This may be performed by using the online database available on the API website. On the website, an electronic version of the result sheet is visible. The seven-digit profile number 2216042 is typed in the appropriate circles. The confirm button is pressed to search the database. Possible identification results appear on the website. The profile number 2216042 identified the unknown bacteria as Pseudomonas aeruginosa with 98.2% discrimination. Examples. Salmonella species.
Klebsiella pneumoniae. E. coli.